This is a WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications called How to Position an Image and Wrap Text Around an Image. And this is for WordPress version 2.5 or later. Uh, in the tutorial that comes right before this one, I showed how to upload and insert an image using WordPress 2.5 or later. And so if you uh, want to see how to do that, just refer to that. This tutorial is about um, specifically wrapping the text around one side or the other. And so let's look at this. I've got a uh, post already created here for this purpose. And we'll go right to that post. And we can see that I've got some text in my visual uh, editing window here. And if I want to put the image at the beginning of the post, um, then I insert the cursor up here. Here's the first paragraph of text. I'm going to insert the cursor at the very upper left. Okay. Then to add that image in, uh, as we talked about in the previous tutorial, you open up your insert image button. Did you see where I got that? Just, uh, just in case you did not. Here's the add media buttons and this one says add an image. Okay, so I'm going to click on that and I can go and pick up a file from my computer or I can get one that is already in the uh, WordPress site itself that's already been uploaded by clicking on the media library. Okay, I've got a bunch of these in here because I've been doing this for a while. Um, what we need to do is under the media library find the image that we want to use and there's a search box up here in case you know you've got a ton of images you want to find the right one um, if I put in wrap text I wonder if I will find the image that I want let's try it never do this never do the um, impromptu test without first seeing if it actually works okay it doesn't No, it does. I knew it would. Um, okay, so that searched for any files with the name wrap text in them. All right, and I'm assuming that it searches also descriptions and that kind of stuff. That would make sense. So I'm going to click on the show button for one of these images that I want to insert. And I can put a caption in here. Um, this how to wrap text. See, I'm a good typist around an image. Okay, that is, that's going to be our caption. And I'm going to leave the link URL uh, just at the default, which is to show the image itself if you click on the image. So the image is going to be a link and it's going to link to the image itself. Now, if I click for alignment, I don't know if you can see these here, if I click on obviously none is going to do nothing in terms of putting the image to the left or the right. If I click on left, which is what I'm going to do, and full size for the image, let's see how this looks. Okay, I'm going to now click on insert into post, and there it is. Looks great. There's our caption down below. Uh, there's the text wrapping around to the right. Okay, and if I save that, you'd see how it looks um, predictably, pretty much how it looks in the editing window. So let's see if I wanted to change it so that the text would wrap around to on the left side of the image. I'm going to click on that image. Okay, and then you get two buttons here. Um, you may have to click on the image again to see them. They go away um, if you wait too long to use them. But you see the circle with the uh, slash, and that is to remove the image. Okay, And you want to definitely use that to remove the image rather than click on the image and hit the delete key, because doing the delete uh, key will take out the image, but it will leave the box that contains that image and that's kind of a pain to get out of there once once that happens so just so you know that 
The other button is the Edit Image button, and if I click on that, I get the same dialog box essentially, although it shows me now the um, preview of how the text is going to wrap. So if I put the image in the center here, you can see it actually will push all the text down below the image, and it will put it in the center. But that's not going to look great because it's going to have all this space on either side of the image. This is not a, a horizontal or horizontally oriented image, so there's a lot of space there on either side. If I put, uh, if I click on right, that is the preview of how that will look. Okay, and incidentally, over here I can use these buttons to resize the image. Pretty cool. Um, Okay, I'm going to leave it at 100% and align to the right and then go down and click update. And there it is. Okay, if I click on save, we'll go back out here and refresh. Okay, boom. It takes a second to catch up in terms of scrolling, but okay, you can see that it's got space between the image and the text, which is great. Um, but it also lines the text, this first line of text, up quite nicely with the top of the, the image, which didn't always used to be the case. So it appears to me that they have. Uh, they, meaning uh, WordPress um, folks, have significantly improved the um, text wrapping in versions 2.5 and 2.6. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, send me a comment. Thanks very much for checking out the McBuzz WordPress tutorials.